Hello, I am very, very happy that you are here. And today I am going to share with you how I feel about the future of art. As with many disciplines, parentheses, art is about to go spiritually rogue. The state of art has been under siege for as long as education has been used as a vehicle for indoctrination. Now, as humanity evolves, we are collectively resonating toward inherent truths. And we are collectively turning away from synthetic modes of existence toward organic intelligence. Art, as in visual art, is popping its happy face out of the jack-in-the-box and laughing at the status quo of itself in the mirror. The mantra, which you've all heard, I can't even draw a stick figure is losing ground as humanity is catching up with its supra-creative genome. So if you're human, you are a creator by divine right. Creativity across the spectrum of life enhances life. Any pleasing aesthetic enhances life. So now what's happening is that art and imagination are going hand in hand and conniving to give us what quantum physics has given to science. The veil of grayness is lifting. We no longer accept our immediate environment to reflect a concrete oil-stained factory floor. We want to see beauty around us at all times. So, how does this happen? How do we make this leap into the future with art? Well, for one thing, it all starts with art itself, and it starts with art being taught correctly from a young age, and it starts with teaching children all that they have an inner connection to source. We have to let them know right off the bat when they're young that they're connected to something divine, to something bigger than themselves that they can tap into as a resource and that they have a higher self that they can go to for inspiration, insights, remedies, answers, healing, all of those things. And we have to teach them that they're unique and that from them come all things original. Just by virtue of being a single, unique human being, we have the power to reach inside ourselves and bring out our originality and uniqueness. Then the next step would be to supply these little artists with the right tools to create their art. I could go into great detail here, but I'll just stop at color and the basics. So if you give a kid a million colors, what will they do? They'll make mud pie. And all their colors will be muddy because it's too much. But if you give them the primaries and teach them how they work, then that child will produce a clean, crisp, colorful canvas. From what I've garnered from students of so-called art teachers, the state of teaching looks for all intents and purposes to me to be designed to deter creativity. Um, an example I can think of right now is, um, say, a student, I heard about this, she got a failing grade, an F, for not copying a color right in a painting. And for one thing, they're copying a painting, right? So the first mistake is you can't learn art from copying. And the second mistake is the, the art teacher has just destroyed the artist within the student because getting a color too light and giving a person a failing grade for that just wreaks havoc on their abilities and their confidence in themselves. And then another example that I came across was that of so-called art teachers performing what they themselves call minor surgery on the face of students' art. Can you believe this? 
this, I can only call it a Cartesian act. It not only violates the creative integrity of the student, but it also invades their artistic space and renders their art null and void, thus once again devastating the future artist. And there are millions of art students who have become frozen in their creativity, and they may never even return to their brushes. And uh, I call this syndrome art freeze. And when there are less artists in the world, there is more acceptance of the mundane. Then add to this the hubris of the self-appointed upper echelons of the art world who deem themselves proprietors of what is and is not valuable art, and now you have an entire art system that is itself a mud pie of investment, usury, and money laundering. So I believe all this is about to change dramatically and humans are about to take the entire spectrum of the arts to a new level. Given that most of it is delivered en masse as a propaganda AK-47 aimed at our psyches. Really, how many times can one watch Les Miserables or The Nutcracker Suite? How many art galleries can one traverse that sport only benign abstract art that denies any social statements whatsoever to be aired? Where is the divinity in all of this? So with the advent, too, of digital art technology that can now reproduce a veritable masterpiece with a few strokes of some laptop keys from a snapshot picture, the way of the master craftsman has gone the way of the stained glass window. This leaves divine inspiration now heading the pack as far as visual art is concerned. The divine inspiration coming from within must be nurtured at all costs right now. The future of art depends on it. There is nowhere else to go. Our brushes have become machetes, forging a path through the twisted hungry jungle that art has become in this age that perpetuates transhumanism on every level. So where are the teachers of this new era in art? Join me. I'm one of them. Maybe you are... Hey, I got cut off there. I was going to say, maybe you are too. So please join me. Go check out my website. And I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. Bye.